return so soon? Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario and Tracker Tamer. I can see from your faces that it went well, indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell all the details. Please step right in. Alright, Merlin, I'm going to have a conversation with you. Yeah, it's been a while since I recorded this because it's getting more and more scarce as the days go by. What's going on, Merlin? So, how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Oh, we sure as heck did. Oh, hello, such pure brilliance. This is a true piece of the one true purity heart. Yes, we met Lur Merlumina. She gave it to us. Or Merlucina. What? Lady Merlumina? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark One. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town. That is why we are here. M -m 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 Master Merlin, <laughs> bad news. Oh? What bad news do you bring? What is it? Get hold of yourself, lad. You see, um, 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 what? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the worlds? Huh? Instead of what in the world because there's many. I don't know, just please get on the elevator and come up there to see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. Me? Yeah, you, Mario. Like, why do you gotta feel so lazy about it? Like, you're obviously gonna be the one tagging along in all these adventures that are going on. So they're headed that way. I didn't really get to talk to a lot of people around here at Flipside yet, but as uh, there's still matters that I have to tend to, and maybe it will involve us going around Flipside a little bit. So I'll just get on this elevator and head upwards on this upwards track, and if it was 3D, it would still be upwards. Of course, up is up, no matter what. I don't even know why I'm confronting that for myself. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up at the tower, she fell out of nowhere. Hmm, she does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? Well, she looks very familiar to us. What's the matter? Oh. Um, you see, it's a person I know. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped. Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time, if that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious, and she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh, I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. Alliteration? I'm sure she knows the warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now, off with you, find Saffron the chef on the first floor. Way to be rude to me, Merlin. Let's talk to him. Hey, you knows what happened to this guy? I hope nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> And I guess this guy, I think his name's like Chad or something, I don't even know. I was just looking up at the tower when suddenly, boom! Man, it started me so bad I swallowed my cough drop! Is that a health risk? So let's start off a little bit of the town exploration here in Flipside. This would be Merlovely's place, so we can talk to her. Hee hee hee! If it's working to sake, speak to me on the other side of the crystal ball. Hee hee, welcome to the Fortune Teller's Fortress. My Merlovely, I can tell your fortune for 20 coins, but no, I know what to do in this game, even though I haven't played it for a while, but that's why I have a practice file. Even though it's been a while since I last practiced, I've practiced the entirety of Chapter 2, so I still have an idea of how things go, and I should probably be talking to these people. Uh, here's an inn right here, ran by a lady. I don't, uh, I think it's like, uh, 5, 20 coins to stay of the night. How, uh, how about I talk to her? Welcome to Tingy's Inn, charge your batteries for the night, and just melt away five points for the night, so yeah. Return to us one day, and she does a little kicky kind of thing, it's like, just kick us out of here. I have all the coins in the world to spend, so I'm not going to be too stingy about them throughout this game. Do you believe the fortune tellers? Blah, 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 just talking to people, and it started raining girls, man, that's like a lovely thing. Hello, it's the super time flip seven, don't get too many visitors. Yeah, it's kind of the thing where dimensional stuff going on. Second floor, babe. Saffron's business is down below. Here's Houset's shop. Uh, we've spoken to Houset before in Yule Town. So here's the items he sells. Nothing really too new except for uh, star medals. They're kind of they're just things that give you a thousand points. So you just pay money for EXP. But I don't really like you know, abusing that too much. <laughs> and gold bars, of course, if you can make good use of those good gold bars, like pigs and stuff. And I believe that's where you can go right here. So. Uh, let's talk to this blue guy. I'm blue, blah blah dee blah dee. The thing back there in the sky keeps getting bigger. That's uh, the plot of this game. The thing's just getting bigger and bigger. It's not gonna get any better though. 
Oh, hello, sweet Gladys. Is the food ready yet? What? You're not Gladys? Are you great grandma? I don't even know how you yourself are still alive, let alone your great grandma. Have you met my Walter? The old dear, his eyesight's going, I'm afraid. He can't make faces out, and he tends to yell a fair bit when he's hungry. I have to admit, though, when he gets hoppy mad, he gets mighty hunky. Oh, mom, that he gets some interesting info, blah, blah, blah. Eat mushrooms to regain your HP, yep. Pretty basic stuff, and here's my place of interest, Saffron Shop, and tell just kind of sort of secret things in the background. Oh, boy, let's forego all and see the DS thing in the background that's very outdated. Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Oh, sugar, our dishes will turn the little frown right upside down. Okay, that's good. That jump. What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy! Well, listen here, sugar. Sounds like she needs some spicy soup. Alliteration with S. All I need is a fire burst to make a pot of soup that'll warm her up in jiffy. Some stores sell them, but I do happen to have one in my inventory, so let's give it to her. I'm gonna give her a ghost room, because that'll definitely help Peach out. Or maybe a peachy peach. So, sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with a fire burst? Yes, indeed. One spicy soup coming right up, sugar. So instead of uh, fire flowers, we use flame burst, which of course it's not really any fire flowers for this game, period. And I like the cooking music. Oh la 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 yum, put it in your tum. Heart comes out of the dough thing. Sorry about the wake, sugar, but it turned out just right. Oh, uh, better have turned out just right. So to wake up that sleeping beauty of yours, let's get to her as quickly as you can. Alright, Merlin's no longer looking up her skirt, she, instead he's just admiring that super pointy crown she has. Ugh. Oh, it seems to have worked. Wakey wakey, eggs and four stainal pounding. Hmm, feels like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Hi, Peach. Oh, Mario, you're okay? When is Mario not okay? Uh, first paper Mario. <laughs> but where exactly are we? This is flip side. Um, okay, and who are you? My dear, I'm called Merlin, and that is what is known as a baseball. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more there. Alright. Fade the darkness and back into Merlin's house. And for some reason, music just stopped playing a minute ago back there. And then, before I knew it, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Yay, thank you for telling the story and the transition. Well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? We don't know. Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. Right, right. Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more heart pillars to be found on the flip side, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. Alright, fair enough. And my intuition tells me that the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merly. Like Vesuvius and I, Merly is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. Yes, I've heard that Merly has long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the light Nausicaa also speaks of her magical powers. Oh? So we just need to find this Merly person, is that it? Oh, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous, even though Tax Day is coming up soon. It's April 11th when I'm recording this. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the worlds now, can I? After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. So I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Wasn't Mario just like, no, though? Peach has joined your party. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. Sweet. I guess we need to find that nice heart pillar. Hmm, this princess is headstrong to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist you take this. We got an old key to a door somewhere in town. Secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys that I to uncovering them, quite literally. In fact, please you'll see anywhere it fits in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. Hmm, hinting, hinting, hinting. I'll continue to read the light for Nausicaa and look for any clues that may help. I'm sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now, Mario and Princess Peach, do all you can to stop the countless evil plans. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Alright, we're going to be put into control of Princess Peach. We can use her umbrella. I pretty much already showed it off. It's just that it also shows like her way of guarding. Just press down and she'll guard with her parasol. But as Mario, we must go into 3D because the locked door is 
as so. Oh, you didn't think Flipside would be this big, did you? I almost called it Flipsville, like in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Flip Street outside is monsters, so beware. Let's see, um, I was thinking about flipping back into uh, 2D, but I think we just have to make a way back here so actually the things can come into effect as they're supposed to, and things that we're not supposed to do yet because we're supposed to go back to this place as the game progresses, so uh, now what we're just worried about is going down this pipe. I don't even know how long this video is coming out to be so far. I've been recording for 14 minutes. I always gotta mention things that I like how uh, it was like that little block was extra shaded to show like it being 3D in the background. And dropping down that pit will not do an HP of damage to you, but it will drop us down here. We can get two catch cars, Merle of Lee. And on this other side, it would be Merlin. Eh. It's kind of creepy if you think about it, because Merlin's never been to this area of town, and yet there's, uh, little things that are, uh, paraphernalia that pertain to him and Merlovely, and of course, uh, hey, hero, if you're stumped, try the flip ability flop. Okay, it wasn't gonna work, I always gotta experiment these things. And of course, there's more if we went further down that path, but what we're trying to focus on is the path right here, and <laughs> get back to normal C. Actually, I gotta briefly flip back. I'm not gonna worry about fighting those enemies over there because it's just that little piece of experience that I do to really care about. Heart pillar ahead. Be sure to float with your awesomeness. Let's put the pure heart into the heart pillar to find out where we go next. And as we'd expect, another door appears. It's golden yellow. Hmm, maybe we are going to a very golden yellow place. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. Alright, now that we're playing as Peach and the Pure Heart is in place, let's get started on Chapter 2. With Princess Peach out of sight, Mario set out once again, bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer, Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merlin was the key to finding the next Pure Heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merlin's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. Chapter 2-1 Bogging to Merlin's The setting of Chapter 2 will be the Bog of Gloam Valley, so it's a nice little place. Forming right as soon as we enter it, it's like it's just creating a world with our godly powers, even though know, there's like things that have already happened, such as the growth of these Cuban troopers and everything. I was pointing at them, even though you don't see me. The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. It, it is a ways. Let's go. Certainly, thanks for your help, Zippy. Jeez, my volume and my TV is actually pretty loud, even though I'm only on 10. I usually play on like 15 when I'm like normally playing games, but for some reason, this just being kind of loud for me. It's probably because I usually like play games with my fan on, and of course, that would be a spiked Goomba, so that's not a good thing to touch. And of course, we're forced to use Peach's floaty powers to get over this way, and coins, um, there's not really a lot of things flipping in 3D, I of course know where all the things are, and we can actually kill Cheap Cheeps in a game for once, so that's not really much an often thing, and actually I don't think Cheap Cheeps even showed up other than the, the ones that were uh, in the underwater Bowser level of Thousand Year Door, and it's pretty much all just bloopers as watery enemies in this game. Locked door, but nothing to do with it. Huh. Alright, so we must follow this arrow the way back as Mario in 3D and deal with the water mechanics. I believe this is the first time we're swimming, because obviously we were in a desert in Chapter 1. Yeah, man, this is loud for some reason. Aw, oh, yeah, skillful, even though I'm gonna switch back to Peach for getting these things done more easily for more convenience in the world of platforming. Dematerialize and go down this pipe right here. And there are enemies just waiting at every corner. Gonna slowly float down and do this stuff. And I have my in the loop batteries, which are very good and rechargeable, so I can probably do a little bit better in this stuff. And I want to get the ice power there. Hopefully, it doesn't disappear during the cutscene. 
And that would be a small chest. What would be house in a small chest, you may ask? A door key, not quite a small key. <laughs> There's variety in the keys you get in this game. Yes, rematerialize back up and let's hop down and unlock this door. The lock disappears forever and we enter this next room. What is awaiting? Pal pills. Let's see how quickly I can keep them alive. So I'm all alive right now. I <sighs> thought some of them would die in the midst of just colliding with that enemy and go ahead and enter this door. I do remember that we want to go ahead and enter this because not really a lot of stuff going on. Just this guy that's like... Hot girl alert! We must have been fated to me! Yes! You are my destiny, Burger! Please go out with me! Teehee, what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but I really must be somewhere. Where? Merle's mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. And you'll get pregnant and you will die. Trapped? Bad things? What are you talking about? Oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't even want to remember it. But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. Because I'm your fate. Your destiny burger. I'm quoting things that you may or may not know about. <laughs> uh, thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustachian man used to do. Oh man, you just wrecked him, Pete. <laughs> Alright, uh, wow, there's just like a bunch of wind veins of electricity powering stuff. <laughs> I'm just like giving my own names to these things. My pals are gonna be able to follow me as we flip around in these rectangular boxes moving in 3D manner in a 2D space. Sorry I sound jittery when I'm trying to do the shaky thing, it's just my remote seems to be unreactive. <laughs> I don't really remember how things used to be, so I'll remember if it was like that way uh, in days of old. And you guys are like following me when I'm going the other direction, so why do you guys do that? You know, you guys are probably gonna die. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see who's gonna. I was trying to skillfully do things, and there's one that has died right there. And hitting that switch in the background makes the start over appear. <laughs> That's a weird level up right there. Alright, so once we go through this door, we can come into this room. And look at that, it's a mega star. So Peach is going to mega evolve with an angry face that she has. Ah oh man, I still love the music. It's aged very well in these uh, seven, almost eight years. It's 2015 now, this game was released in 2007, so coming up on it, I'm pretty sure it was actually released in April 2007, actually. Uh, don't quote me on that, because I'm not really too technical about game releases, just the years they were released in. So we're just plowing with our 8-bit dress that we have. Of course, we're not going to be able to plow through the entire thing. So that Koopa lucked out of not being completely annihilated. But... Now that we are here, we are able to save the Koopas responding. Let's see if I can end the episode before it gets to me. Until next time, let's play Super Paper Mario. We're going to continue Chapter 2-1. Do not toast yourself. Get out of my way.